What if the economy changes because of a negative supply shock? What if instead of seeing a recession due to aggregate demand changes, what if uh, there's an unexpected change in input price, like if the price of oil increases? Well, we would see short-run aggregate supply actually shift to the left to begin with. This would be shown by a leftward shift in short-run aggregate supply, creating this short-run equilibrium here at point B. Let's call the short aggregate supply point B. Notice the difference here. This is going to put us into a recession. Y sub B is less than YP. This means the unemployment rate is going to be higher, and this is going to be a recession. We also saw P sub B greater than P sub A, which means we're seeing higher levels of inflation in this recession. This right here, this situation we're seeing, this is called stagflation. We saw this in the late 70s, early 80s, when we saw a few issues going on in the oil markets. This is a really rough recession. Not only are people losing their jobs, but people are now have to pay more money. If you refer back to the aggregate demand recession, yes, we had people losing their jobs, we saw unemployment going up, but at least prices were coming down, or at least staying relatively stable, so you didn't get hit twice. Here, the economy is getting hit twice. So how does this self-adjust? Well, same exact way. We are in a recession. What does it mean if we're in a recession? Well, if we're in a recession, that means that there's going to be slack. in that labor market. We know that slack in the labor market is going to lead to wages falling, which again will have input costs go down. So we'll see that short run aggregate supply curve go to the right. It's going to move back and point A is going to be point C. Prices will come back down here and output will go back to potential GDP. I need to stress this. The adjustment process in the aggregate demand aggregate supply model always comes through the change in wages, which will always shift short run aggregate supply. It does not matter if aggregate demand is the initial move or if aggregate supply is the initial move. The adjustment process always comes through wages adjusting and short run aggregate supply moving back to meet aggregate demand and long-run aggregate supply.